What is up, people? How's it going? This is Bharat, and welcome back to yet another video on the Kodamong channel. So, as you guys would have guessed from the title of this video, we're going to be trying to make a very simple YouTube thumbnail maker. Ever since I started using YouTube and creating uh, content for YouTube, it's always been a big headache to make sure to take my image out, make sure to crop it out and uh, make sure to create a thumbnail. So in this video, I'm going to be doing a two part series where I'm trying to make a very simple Kiwi application and using the power of OpenCV to create my own YouTube thumbnail. All I need to do is just upload my image and it should be able to create my thumbnail. That's what you're going to be finding out in the first part of this video. Let's get this video started. This video is sponsored by An Academy. For those of you who want to become a software developer or already have become one, Software Developer An Academy brings you a platform where you can get access to all weekly shows which you can watch live. Some of the shows that are going to be live soon on An Academy are hiring updates in startup and major tech companies, live mock interview sessions, pre-placement talks where HRs from top companies come and talk about the hiring processes, top 20 questions which are asked in interviews and how to solve them, Weekend projects which you would make use for standing out in the resume section, life journey of fellow coders working in fan companies and many more shows like that. All of this you can get at a nominal fee of 999 for the entire year and if you use my code you'll get it at 899. In this one, Raj Vikramaditya, also known as Triver, who has been working at media.net and is one of the most well-known competitive programmers of the country, will be reviewing your projects and also giving his expert reviews on what's right and what could be done better in a particular project. The first episode goes live today at 10pm and the link for the show will be present in the description below. Make sure to check it out and let me know what you guys in the comment section below. Alright, so the first uh, for the first part, I'm going to be trying to primarily create a mechanism wherein I can take my initial image out, whereas uh, meaning that I have my image of my face or I'm doing like this or this and things like that and take it out and try to cut it out such a way that uh, all of my background is removed and only my face and which is basically the foreground is in focus. So I'm, I'm going to try to do that uh, using the power of OpenCV and also the main method that I'm going to be using is called as the cv 2grabcut The grab cut is a very interesting method wherein it is capable of removing uh, all the background out and which uh, be able to give you only the foreground. So I'm going to be taking you through guys, uh, taking you guys through all the process to do that. So let's get this uh, thing started. So this is what we have been doing so far. Uh, we have actually been creating a bunch of OpenCV videos in the last uh, five to ten videos, to be honest. And every every time we have this has been base layer. So if you guys are jumping in for the first time for this video, I would highly recommend you guys to check the initial videos uh, videos of the series so you'll understand how to actually create a simple UI. So once we have done, uh, what I'm doing going to do is just uh, load an image, or uh, which is going to be of the type or image.jpg. I'll show you guys what this image looks like in a bit but uh, what how it's going to start is like to basically load an image and uh, we can even have a matte button to click and open it but for now I'm just directly loading the image and when the button is clicked where I'm just saying click here it should be able to uh, take my image process my image and just give me a PNG file uh, and this PNG file should basically be uh, having no background or basically removing all the background and having only my face in the foreground. So let's write start writing this method uh, what this method is going to do primarily is to take your image like I've been telling and process your foreground and your background first so that's going to be the first part so in order to do that we need to create a mask right and that's what we're going to do first thing let's load and read the image I'm just going to say cv2 dot im read and it's going to take the image dot source so basically whatever you're loading here it's going to take the source and start and use the cv2 im read to read it the next step we're going to do is to use the mask and the mask is to for uh, mask is to basically create a simple empty file which is going to be a black image so black image is going to be the mask and we need to have a black image basically only then you'll know how to separate your foreground and the background so just use the np dot zeros uh, this is what they've been doing so np so np dot zeros and i'm just going to take the image dot to just take the last two and use the np.uint8. So this is going to be the format. The next thing I'm going to do is to create two models. The background model uh, is going to be having all np zeros only as usual. But for this one, it's going to be of from 1 to 65 only. I'll uh, probably tell you how why it is used for uh, float of 64. The next one I'm going to do is to create another foreground model 
this is also going to be a simple mask of sorts just to np zeros and it will be from 1 to 65 again we are going to be using only up to 64 digits because since you are using float 64 integer float 64 all right so we have both background and the foreground model created the next time next thing that we need to do is to mark our image we need to have a rectangular portion within which the image should be there and that image will get processed so in order to create a rectangle i'll just create a variable called as rectangle yeah rectangle is equal to starting from the uh, starting x which is going to be zero ending x is also going to be zero the next thing i'm going to do is to create or find the width of the uh, image so width of the image can be easily done by taking the self dot image dot from the images texture we can take the texture size and the texture size has the information of the width so a width uh, which is going to be of one followed by int of uh, self dot image dot texture size of zero all right so we have for now just return all the pre-processing work now is the time for us to do the grab cut now the grab cut like i've been telling takes two important uh, models one is the background model what are the background information that you need to remove followed by the foreground model or what are the information that you need to keep so we just create call the grab cut and uh, we're going to be starting to pass the images that we or the in, uh, information that we need to uh, for this method to work the first information you need to pass is the image followed by that we're going to be passing the mask that we created it's going to be an empty black image and the rectangle or the rectangular area where the grab cut should work followed by the background model and the foreground model the, both of them at this point of time is just a simple uh, basically it's trying to remove the two images it's going to take one image and it's going to remove the background away and foreground away so just have the image mask rectangle background foreground followed by that we need to pass number of iterations it needs to work on sometimes if you go for 10 iterations it will do a much better job sometimes even with three iterations you should do your job i'm just choosing the random uh, basically number called as four uh, just out of uh, having multiple tests done so after that the final Im information that we need to pass is to the initialization matrix or so basically you're just telling uh, just start with a gc uh, in it with rectangle so since we are having a rectangular information right here uh, we are trying to create a rectangular information right here we also want to have the grab cut with just the rectangular information only so all of this is going to just pro uh, process the uh, image um, basically convert it into a background and a foreground information now now is the time to update our mask now what mask is going to do is to remove all our background uh, all of our background information and only have information ab about the foreground so in order to do that i'm going to create another mask called as final mask and this mask is going to have in information as to all the information uh, which has background in it uh, i'm just going to remove it and oh, oh, everything else i'm just going to keep it as one so how we do that just use the np.var which will actually act as uh, basically an for loop inside it and you just say if the mask has uh, two or if the mask has information about of zero is equal to equal to zero uh, which means that if it if it's either of mask uh, of background information so if you see here there are two four different values that are possible if you want to convert it all right so i quickly pasted a simple set for us to see how, how or understand how the grab cut basically works so if you see here it actually uh, has four different values one is that uh, it's actually a definite background and a probable background definite foreground and a probable foreground so if you go, go and look and into the integer values that it represents it's actually gcbgt is equal to zero and if you go here and find this value it's actually two so what we don't need is to have any information of the background because i'm trying to remove all the background information and keep only my foreground information so that's what i'm exactly doing here i'm saying if the mask is actually going to be a gc uh, cv2 dot gc b cv2 dot gc bgt i'm going to remove it similarly for zero i'm just going to say cv2 dot gc pr or probable background i want to remove both of that out and in order to do that i'm just saying if it is of either of these two values make it a zero everything else keep it as one so this is going to be my final mask wherein i'm very sure that this information is going to just be uh, putting it out in a basic mask so all information with regards to background is now removed all right so first step is done now time to uh, print our final image where we're just going to say take the image 
uh, that we had already and make it or multiply it into our mask uh, we are not just going to directly multiply it make sure to also include the uh, parameters which is going to be just take the new axis so just say new axis right so this way we are creating our final image by multiplying our uh, image that we had and multiplying to our mask so all background information is removed only the foreground information is going to be there with a black background now if you just see how this image looks like it's going to be a very simple black background image i don't want that i want to now also convert it into a png file with a transparent background now the transparent logic is also very simple convert it to a transparent market as convert it to transparent and uh, in order to do that we need to understand that all our images that we have has information like blue green red and also something called as an alpha channel this alpha channel is giving the information as to how that background should be and if you remove that background information or the alpha channel information voila we have a transparent background in order to do that first thing do you do is just have information as to your bgr by using the cv2 dot split and just pass the image so now we have the background bgr information the next thing we're going to do is to have a gray layer or convert it into a gray scale by just using the cv2 color that we have already done so so many times convert it into a cv2 dot um, cv color bg bgr to gray so we're going to convert it to a gray scale image and now we're going to extract the alpha alpha data from that so just say uh, cv2 dot threshold gray layer just from all information 0 to 255 cv2 dot thresh binary so this way we are remove uh, extracting the alpha channel out and what we'll do is we'll put all the information back into another another layer and uh, we'll convert it back to our image so we're just saying is take the bgr information Take the grayscale information use the transparency information or the alpha channel information only from the grayscale take it and put it into a bgra file or bgra image and voila we have a transparent background so that's what i'm going to try to do now just say rgb is equal to have a b a g r and the alpha data so we have a B R G B A data and convert it into a destination we'll just say cv2 dot merge and we have the rgba followed by number of channels we need we need four channels so we need to have the, the merge there all right so our destination is created so we, we have basically converted our foreground information or the simple image and removed the foreground uh, removed the background converted into a transparent file now try to uh, save it up just say cv2 dot i am right and this will write the image back i'll, I'll call it as basically uh, grab cut out and i'll pass the destination so and next thing we're going to do is just update the label by saying up uh, grab cut success fully something like this so it's time to run this application and see what it is looking like i just wrote this for you guys to understand what the uh, what the four different parameters that we need to have and also what the gap cut gives let's say remove everything and i'll just trigger this application so basically we have some main app and the main app has a build method we have like a simple uh, box layout and it's actually hosting the image and a simple label below it and also another button that when clicked is actually going to be doing all the information for us since this is the part one i'm just trying to do a grab cut in the next one i'll try to uh, finalize an image take my uh, grab cut image put it on some corner and put some text on it and make sure to see how it looks like in my final thumbnail so let's run this up all right so i chose specifically this image and this is my application just specifically this image because there's a clear definition between the background and the foreground and the grab cut algorithms work algorithm works pretty much fine if if and only if there is a clear definition even if there is no definition or differentiation it will still work fine but uh, there are much more advanced algorithms that do much better job at differentiating a background and a foreground i chose grab cut just to see how my thumbnail app uh, app maker is shaping up so just click here and it says that grab cut successfully how, how, and now i just need to find out how my grab cut uh, png is looking like so i'll go find it where is the grab cut g yeah this is my png 
And if you look look at it here, it has a very good background. It's an empty background, and there is some noise information here. It's actually identified as a, it as like a foreground information, but this is fine. At least I have this clear image right here. And uh, in tomorrow's video or the next video, I'm going to be probably trying to have this as my uh, part of my image and trying to have some background to it add some text here and that way we have our uh, yt thumbnail so we still have some more information or some more uh, work to do and you can very well clearly see that it's actually trying to uh, reduce the int the intensity of it the pixelation is still there but that's fine uh, this as long as it works fine i'm very very happy so you can still use this for your algorithm you can create a simple script and try to run it and that way you uh, improve your workflow when you're trying to create thumbnails at least i am going to do that so that's it for this video hope you did like this video if you did like this video smash the like button and stay subscribed for the next part where we will try to add text and try to create a very simple youtube thumbnail using kiwi and OpenCV. i'll see you guys in the next one until then it's bharat peace out have a super awesome day